All right, everybody, this is Ross. I thought in today's video, we would put something to the test. There's a, a school of thought that goes around in the citrus communities. And what I understand from other growers is that if you're gonna grow sweet citrus in the north or somewhere where it's quite cold, well, the fruits just won't sweeten up. And as a result, you're kind of wasting your time. You, you gotta stick with the sour citrus varieties like limes and lemons and kumquats, lime quats, finger limes, etc. And uh, that's mostly what I've done, but I do have here what we're looking at is a tangerine that I picked up from Stark Brothers Nursery. I don't even know exactly what this variety is, but it's, it's May, actually May 10th today. And this is well past what I would consider citrus season because the majority of the citrus trees I have here, uh, like this kumquat, this flowered, and actually, excuse me, this fruited in the wintertime. These are nice Christmas time, January, February snacks. This finger lime did the same thing. Um, also this lime quat that you see down here. Um, all the lemons, the limes that I know of, that I've ever grown, that's typically what they do. Oddly enough, this tangerine is just such a late to bear variety, I guess. Uh, or maybe that's just the nature of this particular tree. Uh, I don't exactly know. Maybe this won't continue in the future. But what I've noticed, at least, is that as these fruits were ripening, uh, because this variety is so late and it, does, it doesn't fruit when it's indoors as a house plant, like the rest of these are house plants when they're fruiting. You know, they're in a 65, 70 degree environment all winter time. And that's just not cold enough, I was told, at night to really sweeten up those fruits. But this variety here, this tree, has fruits on it actually coming out of the indoor environment. Now there it's an outdoor patio plant and it has actually been outside for about a month and a half. I think I brought these trees out of here sometime in the middle of April to early April. So actually it's been about a month or so. Um, and I know having them outside and actually, I, oh, excuse me guys, by the way, it has been about a month and a half because these trees were in the sunroom for an extended period of time. And the sunroom, I don't heat the sunroom, but it does stay above 32 degrees Fahrenheit. There is no frost, obviously, that forms in there. But I know that there has been in, let's say, the middle of or late March to the early April here in the Philadelphia area. These trees were definitely subjected to colder temperatures at night. And I have experienced now, after tasting a few of these fruits off of this tangerine, that actually they're quite sweet. And I would argue something that's even better than what you could get at the grocery store. So I wanna try these last couple fruits here. These appear to be very ripe. Um, at least that's what I would consider them. And I wanna see, just for the record, if growing sweeter citrus here is possible with that in mind. Uh, you can tell that this is a nice little tangerine. Obviously, the fruits are very small, but it's basically a cutie that you would get at the store. I mean, look how, look how easy that peels. Uh, let me zoom in for you guys. Really, really easy to peel this fruit. Super small. But this, I think this variety is just naturally very small. I think that's what this is meant to be. I don't know what the variety is. They just call it a tangerine. It has a lot of seeds in it, I find. But let me taste this. This is certainly, this has got to be very ripe. So it is actually on the sour side. But not bad. So I think what's happening I don't exactly know when the colder temperature needs to be applied to these fruits, but I think this is definitely very doable for someone in a colder climate. But you have to have the cold applied at the right time. 
So maybe if I found a variety actually, not this tangerine, but something that actually fruits a little bit earlier, maybe if I had something that fruited uh, two to four weeks ago, or maybe even six weeks ago, that might be the most optimal thing for me and actually in my particular situation. Uh, and this is different for everybody. It's gonna be different for everybody. But I think the, the, the colder nights that everybody is speaking of has to be applied at a very specific time and maybe over a, a period of time. Um, whatever the case may be, it's doable. I've tasted the sweeter fruits. This is just, it's a little sour. It's approaching very sweet. And for me, it is sour, but I actually really enjoy it. Like, if I were to eat a kumquat, this is actually, I think, more enjoyable than the kumquat. Um, let's try this one here. Let's see if this is any different. Maybe this one's sweet. There really was only one or two fruits I had off of this that were sweet. So, but that's the thing. I do think this is doable. Obviously, I've had no green. I don't have a greenhouse. That one's sour as well. This one, I have a feeling it's just not as ripe. Yeah, I think when they're harder to peel like this, they're not as ripe. So the, the second two I'm trying here are not as ripe. This one's a little bit sweeter than the last. But I think that's kind of what I'm getting at here. What I'm learning, I really wanted to try this, you know, test that wisdom or test that knowledge to see if that's really an accurate statement. And I think it is accurate, obviously, um, but I think it's still doable depending on your situation. Can you grow something like a blood orange? Can you grow something like a navel orange? Can you grow a, a, a mandarin? I think it really does depend on when exactly they're fruiting and then where your tree is. I think what I can do, what I'll try to do, is actually get a variety of citrus that, f that fruits a little bit earlier, like I said, about maybe four to six weeks prior to this date. Today's May 10th. Um, that way it's, it's fruiting in early April or late March. You definitely have some colder nights and I can stick these trees in the sunroom, which will still subject them to those colder nights without damaging the trees. Um, and of course they'll warm up during the day that way because it, it's kind of acting as somewhat like a greenhouse. So anyway, guys, I thank you for watching this. If you got this far, please hit that subscribe button. I definitely appreciate it. I think I will actually expand my citrus collection and try a sweeter variety. Uh, we just ordered a Sudachi and a Yuzu. I'd like to get myself a lemonade tree. I also ordered a, uh, another lemon. These citrus trees are really great, I think, personally to grow in containers in the Northeast. Uh, it's definitely somewhere colder. You want to push the zone. This is, I think, one of the best plants to push the zone with. So anyway, guys, thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.